We expect our returns to be between 12 and 15% net returns. We want these investors to be part of our family and our funding family. We hire the best architects in Mexico, for, in our opinion, and also an inspiration from the Mayan culture and the Mayan architecture. So these villas are all surrounded by jungle, and that's the number one amenity in Candela. Dear viewers, welcome to another issue of Stopbox Interviews, when we speak with industry leaders in virtual assets and crypto to discuss the future of the market and how it is evolving. Watching this interview allow you to get a competitive edge at understanding where, where the market is moving, what are the current trends, and what are the most sustainable and profitable business models, especially in the beer market. Today, we are interviewing one of our dearest clients and partners, Rodrigo Lopez, co-founder at Candela. He will tell you how to use crypto assets in order to make real estate business exciting and uh, deliver high returns compared to traditional real estate approaches. Rodrigo, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Boris. It's a pleasure. Okay. Let's proceed directly to the interview. Rodrigo, tell us please more about Perfect. Candela. So we started um, working in Candela and developing Candela a couple of years ago. We are in Mexico, in Tulum. Uh, as many of you have heard, Tulum is a very special place. It has grown a lot and it has captive a lot of attention in the previous years because it's a very special place. It has incredible natural resources. It's a, it's a place that uh, water is very superficial. We have these uh, incredible nature um, marvels called cenotes, which are um, sweet water or that runs in into the soil, and it's very superficial. So that's why being conscious about sustainability in Tulum is super, super important. So we started to develop this project called Candela. Candela, it's a brand of branded communities that means that uh, our first community here in tulum it's focus on design focus on sustainability and any other communities that we do further on under the name of candela it's going to be a branded community and it's going to follow the same philosophy and the same uh design principles and values um when we started working in tulum we clearly I understood that sustainability was super important, but also design was very important. When we mix both of them, uh, we didn't want to fall in this idea that sustainability has to be like uh, hippie or, you know, like, like kind of um, not so well done. So we hired the best architects in Mexico, for, in our opinion. And these guys quickly understood their, their uh, studio is called Macias Peredo. Chavo, Maggie, and Diego, and they formed this, this uh, firm of architects. They clearly, they understood quickly that we wanted to create a special place, and uh, they developed this project that instead of using uh, most of the land, they use a small part of the land, only 30% of the land, and they go up. They go up as pyramids, which um, was an incredible solution and also an inspiration from the Mayan culture and the Mayan architecture. Um, these villas, we wanted to create villas and not apartments because there are many apartments and uh, we wanted to create something special. So these villas have four and five bedrooms. Each one of the villas has its own private pool, like the one that is just behind me. And all of the private pools, they face towards a natural reserve that is 1,500 uh, 1, square meters. So these villas are all surrounded by jungle and that's the number one amenity in Candela. We wanted to create a project where you always uh, are surrounded by nature, by jungle, by this incredible jungle in Tulum. So uh, the pools face towards a reserve that is 1,500 square meters of jungle. And then in between each villa, you have between 400 and 500 square meters of jungle. Uh, we quickly, uh, knew that if we wanted to do something uh, sustainable, it also had to have an incredible design. And when we created these villas that are 520 square meters, they're big villas, four and five bedrooms, um, the price also was high. So how could we match the people that wanted to invest in a project with sustainability principles, with high uh, design standards, uh, in the middle of the jungle, uh, in Tulum, in Mexico, um, 
so we quickly knew that if we um, reach out to the uh, crypto community, but we also reach out to the crypto uh, technology and the blockchain technology, we could make this a more affordable project for people that had uh, that wanted to be part of the project, but didn't want to buy a full villa. So um, we started to talk to different investors. They loved the idea of what we were developing in Tulum. They knew that it was very innovative and they wanted to be part of it. Uh, right now we have investors from different parts of Mexico, different parts of Europe and some from Latin America. And the way that they have been part of Candela is that they contributed by buying uh, the tokens that we created with Stobox. So we tokenized this first villa, the one that you are looking right now, and I'll give you a quick tour about uh, around it. And right now we're tokenizing the second villa here also all in Candela Tulum. And we started a second community in Valladolid, also in Mexico. And we are doing the same process, tokenizing uh, these villas, inviting uh, private investors to be part of this dream that we have, and uh, eventually come and visit the villas and see where the investment is. Thank you for the fascinating presentation. And it's good to hear about you doing this, not only as a some business to make money and not only a conventional uh, villa as anything else out there, but really thinking about how it can be different, what could be the principles and values behind it. And I, I love the way you spoke about using Mayan architecture principles in, uh, in the modern world to create this real connection to the roots and to the history of this play that is probably by many people forgotten. It would be cool if you could speak a bit more about uh, all, all the ways in, in which you make uh, Candela different. How do you make it not simply another piece of property, but uh, something special? Correct. No, you're right. And and I think taking architecture and principles of design was the uh, first way of how we started creating this project and how the architects got inspired about this project. Um, the foundation and, and the ground floor of Candela, it's all made with the old processes of how they build pyramids. Each one of the rocks is hand carved by uh, artisans from the region that they've been doing this for ages and for uh, generations. And all the basement of, of the villa is made of solid rock, uh, hand, hand carved each one of them. Then as you move on each one of the floors, we have three different floors and a rooftop. Uh, they start um, getting a little bit compressed in order to have big terraces. So we have terraces that surround each one of the floors. So that gives you a lot of light, a lot of um, interaction with the outdoor world. So you can always be inside and outside of Candela, right? So you have shade and light all the time and you have this play of lightning uh, moving around the whole project, which is very important because candela means candle. Um, candle, it's also a measurement of light. So the whole project revolves and it's been designed around the light. Uh, when you see uh, the land of the project is 12 villas. Each one of the villas is, let's say, at 12 o'clock, one, two, three, four, and they move in a circle. So the light plays a lot with the project as well. Um, we got inspired also by Tulum itself. Tulum used to work, is it, as if you guys don't know, Tulum is the only place in Mexico that has a pyramid next to the ocean. And Tulum used to serve as a, as a beacon back in the days uh, for the Mayans when they were traveling from Cozumel, from another island, coming to Tulum, no? to the shore of Tulum. And it worked as a beacon and we got inspired from there to, we wanted to be a modern beacon. Right? how to develop in these modern days, how to create these um, new projects focused on design, focused on sustainability, focused on the community, on the roots, on the culture, and uh, create an incredible project. What we see in crypto uniquely here is that crypto is this platform, is this network that connects people from no matter where you are in the world, but if you connect with Candela, if you connect with the sustainable principles, if you're interested in culture, if you want to be part of this movement and part of this idea, uh, we have now a financial system that will link you to this project. So uh, maybe before we have social media, and yes, it connected people, but now we have a social media link with a financial system that not just connects you, but gives you the possibility of be part of it by investing and eventually also visiting the place. 
Okay, that that sounds very fascinating. And it would be great if, uh, as, as I assume you're currently at uh, one of the villas, if you could do a quick tour so that, it, it, you know, it's always better to see once than here hundred times. Yeah, obviously. Uh, I'll show you. I'm actually standing right now at the pool of Candela. I'll switch my screen. So this is the pool that uh, faces the center of the project. We're going to go inside. This is a first terrace. It's a veranda. And from here, you come inside into the project. So this would be the living room, dining room, and an open kitchen. The whole project was designed by Macias Peredo, but at the same time, we work with an interior design team called Habitación 116. And they selected each one of the furniture for Candela. As you can see this chair, this is the Candela chair and it was designed specifically for this project. And you can find them also in each one of the rooms. So the idea of the experience is, is you are in this super fresh indoor place and then you come out to this terrace that is always open, but it's always shaded. And then you come out to the uh, pool where you can swim every day. And I'm not going to take you to the uh, next floors, but you can take a look from here and you can see the shape of the pyramid. And this would be the space where you can work every day if you're uh, a digital nomad. Yeah, that's a very nice place. And I like the fact that you know whom you're targeting, who, who are the people who share similar values and who would be interested in what you're doing with Candela, not only in Mexico, but around the world, thanks to crypto technologies. And this is what I would like to hear more about. Could you tell more of our viewers about your token and your token offering? Uh, what are the terms? What are the expected returns? How to participate? And uh, what have been your traction so far with the token? Of course. Um, so we have tokenized this first villa. It's uh, completely, uh, the funds were completely raised. Uh, at this stage, we're doing privately, but it's obviously open to people from all parts of the world because we are creating a community of investors which is very important for us to know who is investing what are the values what they're looking for and uh, obviously uh, providing uh, incredible returns we expect our returns to be between 12 and 15 percent net returns um, this is uh, calculated based on historical numbers of uh, Tulum but it's important also to mention that uh, our project has been already selected in three different architectural magazines. It's uh, taken a lot of, of hype. A lot of people are uh, wanting to uh, come in to visit uh, to Tulum. They're going to be staying in Candela. So we expect a big demand for the next year. And that can even probably increase um, the returns that we have uh, projected so far. So what is the process? Basically, you go uh, to our platform, uh, uh, the investor platform, you register, we, K we do the KYC, we accept, uh, accept the, the investor, we talk to the investor, we get to know a little bit about the investor. Once they are approved and once they are whitelisted, they have the opportunity to invest. The first round for to raise um, the money for the first villa uh, were 100K uh, minimum investment, the tickets. And now uh, for this second round, we are um, asking for a 10K uh, minimum investment. This is also to keep it as a closed community. We're gonna be doing events uh, constantly every year for the investors to get to know uh, other investors. So you can come to these events, uh, which will be private only to the people that have invested to Candela. The events will be surrounded by many things, such as uh, experiences, getting to know Tulum, the region, but also knowing future projects where to invest with Candela. Uh, we have a pipeline of 10 different communities happening and being developed by Candela in Mexico for the next 10 years. So uh, we want these investors to be part of our family and our funding family. So every new project, we're going to present it to the investors for them to know 
uh, where we're going to be developing. And if they want to be part of it, they're going to be, we're going to be happy to have them again. 12 to 15 percent is an amazing return especially on real estate investment which is uh, usually quite secure so it's a very good risk return profile and it's cool that you create a value add to your investors not only via the return itself but also by enabling networking and the experience of engaging with other investors so it also makes candela unique in many respects what correct with these returns, I wonder how are they impacted and how is your business at all impacted by the current economic situation? Because the, we see not only on crypto markets, but generally um, all, uh, many IT, many big techs and not only big techs, Fortune 500 companies having negative earnings, uh, earnings growth this year and laying off personnel. So the economy isn't doing very well. How does this uh, impact Mexico and specifically Candela? That's correct. Something that is very interesting, uh, Mexico has been super strong in tourism for the past 15 years. Uh, we're always between the fifth, sixth, seventh uh, most visited country uh, in the world. So uh, tourism is one of the most important industries in Mexico. That's why we're focusing on targeting there. I believe Mexican service is famous all over the world. And we are, are a very uh, privileged location next to the US, next to Canada. And the airport of Cancun is the most, uh, in, right now, probably the most efficient, but also the most connected uh, airport in Mexico. So that gives the whole region a very good position in terms of tourism. Back in 2008, uh, tourism, even with the crisis, still uh, grew uh, not that much, but around 1%, 2%, uh, but it was a growth. In the middle of a huge uh, worldwide crisis, tourism kept growing. Uh, High-level tourism uh, behaves different to uh, general tourism or uh, like backpacking tourism. When you have a crisis, the low-income um, tourism falls down, but the high-level tourism keeps moving around the world. So we're focusing on, on, on that sector specifically. And now we also have uh, the possibility of uh, having a broader audience, not the people that want to travel around, but the people that want to live around. So with this product is for people that say like, I'm, I'm, I want to move around. Um, I don't want to be living in the US. I have an incredible house an incredible apartment, but I can move for one month to Tulum and stay in Candela. So uh, that's also going to give us a lot of uh, stability in these times of, of uh, uncertainty. But definitely tourism is a very good investment in terms of um, investing in Mexico. Well, so it sounds like Candela can be a great hedge against stagflation and the uh, current economic crisis. Uh, one totally. with possibility to secure some money. Something very important to mention is uh, you, when you invest in real estate, you, you really need to know what's happening in the region. Um, Tulum is getting a new airport uh, being delivered uh, by 2024. Uh, they're also building a train that will connect Cancun to Tulum. So you're going to be able to get in train from Cancun, but also from Merida all the way to Tulum. So it's that's going to give a lot of infrastructure to the place. Um, I think it's one of the regions or probably the region that is growing the most in Mexico. So if you're thinking and in investing in bricks, in something that is going to be secure, but at the same time is going to produce money out of um, the rentals and, and the tourism, this is definitely the region where you want to invest in Mexico. Moving on from, from a new location, I would like you to tell our viewers more about your team. You mentioned previously about very high level Mexican architects stand, standing behind this, and it would be cool to hear about other people making this project come true, because what matters is not only powerful idea and vision, but also people that are capable of executing it. Totally. So um, Candela was created and founded by uh, Ryan Stockdale, mm -hmm. my business partner and co-founder, and myself. And but quickly, as you mentioned, we understood that the most important thing is who you surround yourself with. So we try to find the best talent possible uh, with the architects, with the interior designers, uh, with the construction team, with the project managers. So that's always been our philosophy, right? Find the experts, uh, get assessed by the experts, and that way you can create the best product possible. So in, in terms of technical and how we develop uh, the token, uh, we had a, a legal team 
that was uh, that advised us in general how we could uh, structure the project and how we could move throughout the project in different phases. Um, and that's been super helpful. And on the other side, the whole technical and structure and, and um, the training to get into this crypto world and into the token world uh, was held by Juan Carlos El Castillo, which has been a great advisor as part of the board in Candela Token Communities. And he, he, he was one of the first developers of a, a crypto asset in Mexico. Um, he works with many different clients all around the world and he structured the whole um, board team for the technical side of Candela. So that's, I, and if I can recommend that to anyone is get assessed by the most experts that you can, get them on board, get them on your side, because that way you're gonna be uh, protected because this is a new technology, this is evolving, this is always changing. So be always uh, surrounded by experts that will uh, train you and will give you the best advice as possible. That's a very good business advice, you. As an entrepreneur, you continuously need to surround yourself with people who are smarter than you. That's the only way you Always. can do something great. Okay, as a summary of this discussion, Rodrigo, what are the main reasons for investors to be excited about Candela? I believe the main reason was, um, even though we have a lot of Mexican investors, some of these investors have never been to Tulum. Some of these investors have never been to Candela. They've never seen the project live, but uh, that just validated the thesis that uh, you can be anywhere around the world and you can connect to these projects, to these people, to these experts, to uh, the philosophy, the values of how companies are done. So. Um, we truly believe that Candela is proposing something unique, is proposing a new way, a new way of living, a new way of traveling, but also a new way of developing, a new way of creating communities. And we believe that through one community at a time, we can change Mexico and eventually we can change the world. We believe the power of the community, such as what that's the philosophy of crypto. That's why we, we made a an incredible match with this technology but we believe that the power of, of the community has everything to change the path of where humanity is going so investing in candela is not just investing and getting a good return but it's also setting the foundation of creating a new future that's a very optimistic and visionary answer and it was a pleasure and honor to have you as our client and as a guest at this interview so thank you for joining and sharing your insights and your vision and wish you the best of luck with Candela. I am very optimistic and positive about your prospects. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure and it's been a pleasure working with you guys. Thank you, Rodrigo. To everybody listening, subscribe to the channel to hear more from people like Rodrigo, other amazing clients and experts we are inviting here to hear the insights from our experience and what we are doing with clients like Rodrigo, the nuances of structuring international fundraising deals that we do over here. So subscribe, leave a comment under this video with your thoughts about Candela and feel free to check out their website and see whether you may be interested in participating in the project and investing. Thank you for attention and see you in the next episode.